The um, AG, ACMP nurse practitioners mostly work in a hospital acute care setting. And right now we're um, actually functioning um, as a partner for the intensivist and the critical care physicians. We partner with them taking care of all the acute care patients and the critically ill patients um, in the hospital. Um, as we know that the intensivists and critical care physicians, um, right now we really don't have enough of these physicians at the bedside. So the AG ACMP fill actually a significant void for these patients that we're able to function as a bedside providers for the acute care critically ill patients. Obviously, um, as the name AG ACMP, we're acute care nurse practitioners. Obviously, the acute care part will be very, very beneficial. If you have some kind of experience in the hospital setting, taking care of either acute care patients or critically ill patients, that would definitely help you through the, this program. But it's not necessarily uh, a must because we do have some students that have some chronic care experience. Um, that's also very, very helpful, mainly uh, if you have hospital type of experience, then it will be uh, beneficial to be in this program. One thing that, that I feel it's very important for the students to know is they have to be very, very uh, eager to learn about pathophysiology, to learn about why things happen, because in critical care, it is so important to know why things happen and how do you uh, intervene. So I don't necessarily think that, you know, it's very important for the students to know how to write long, drawn out, um, literature and, and so on and so forth, but they definitely have to have some skills about how to look at a literature and understand um, what the literature is talking about to provide the best care at, as evidence to provide the best care for these patients. <music>